Ooh. I'm getting far by. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Francie or Frenny. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to your girl so that we don't miss out on any videos from me. Hit the little bell notification button so you can be notified every single time that I upload. Alright y'all, it's so today's video. I'm just going to be doing my first impression slash demo on the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in medium dark and it's called Maka Amoko. Oh, Maka, I don't know, NARS has some crazy names. Um, so this is actually my first time trying out a NARS foundation, which I'm super excited, super excited about because I never tried a NARS foundation and they pretty damn expensive. But um, I saw this foundation going around on YouTube and I was like, hmm, long wear. Cause I'm always looking for foundations that are like long wear, that are um, matte, that can stay on my skin for a long time because I am extremely oily. And as you can tell, I have been breaking out a lot. I'm, I'm on antibiotics right now for my acne, y'all. I know that's totally off topic, but I just thought I should throw that in there. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm extremely oily, so I definitely need a long wearing foundation. Oops. And I got this from my local Ulta. It says, meet NARS first long wear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer with a skin recognition pigment pigment for the trusted color match and a 16 hour um, long wear featuring NARS skin optimizing complexion, raspberry, apple, and some other kind of stuff. And, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And I did my brows off camera. That's the only thing that I did. I didn't even prime yet. All right, so this is what the bottle looks like. Super sleek, super pretty. Love the packaging. I love any foundation, like in a glass bottle. And it also has a pump, which I love. I love foundation bottles with a pump. Absolutely love the fact that it has a pump. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it up, shake it up, girl, shake it up, girl, shake it up. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face, and the primer that I want to be used is the Urban Decay Com Complexion Primer. This is how it looks. Um, this is my first time actually using this primer. Uh, it has an SPF of 30. I was a little nervous about getting getting this foundation at first because the girl who was matching me, she kept pulling out foundation that was um, too red. And I'm like, I know I have some reds, but I'm definitely more on the yellow side than red. So the, I'm gonna do a pump on my forehead. Right here, right here, right here. With my hyperpigmentation with, and everything, I'm gonna see how many layers that I'm going to need to cover my acne y'all. The Real Techniques face brush, the foundation brush. This is my first time using anything from Real Techniques. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. Okay. I really don't have like a bad smell, but it's all right. Okay, so right off right off the bat, I'm thinking this foundation may be a little bit too light, but we'll see. For, for it to be just one pump on this side, it's um, co covered mostly all my um, dark spots, which I'm impressed with, which I do, which I really do like. And I love the formula. It's not too thick, it's not too watery. But I'm thinking it may be a little bit too light for me. And I was not gonna buy two foundations. These freaking foundations retails for $49. Girl, that is $100 on just foundation. No. All right, y'all, so this, this is the first layer of the NARS foundation. Um, for someone with dark spots, I do feel like 
for the first layer it's a pretty good coverage i think so but but i think this foundation may be a little too light i don't know all right so i'm just gonna go in with a second layer Okay, y'all, so this is two layers. I definitely think the coverage is really good for me and my hyperpigmentation, only for two layers. I will say I do see a tiny bit of my um, dark spots peeking through, so I'm just gonna go over those just a little bit, but I'm definitely impressed. I do love this foundation. Um, I definitely, I think I can make the color work. It's not too light. I feel like it's not too light. It's matching up pretty good. So, y'all, yeah, I'm loving this foundation, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm loving this foundation. Like, do you see this right now? Look at the cover. And it did take me, it did take about two, two and a half to three layers to get like a full coverage from, full coverage for me. I did not use a color corrector and my dark sparks are pretty dark, but girl, I'm loving this foundation. Um, and this real techniques brush oh my god y'all love it love it love it love it bruh like <laughs> y'all i'm obsessing over this foundation right now i love this foundation girl like <laughs> with my highlighter that i always use well i haven't used this particular shade but this is the la girl pro concealer and this is in fun just gonna highlight a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with my airspin loose powder. It's what I always use. This is like a staple for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it with my MAC Studio Fix powder. Alright y'all, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish my makeup off camera. I'm going to do the eyes and the lips off camera and I'll be back with my final thoughts, girl. Alright y'all, so your girl is back with her final thoughts and let me just say, I love this foundation. I love this foundation. I fucking love this foundation. We definitely, definitely recommend this NARS foundation. Honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about this foundation. It took about two and a half to three coats to color. Um, that's without any color, color corrector. Because honestly, I have no complaints about this foundation, y'all. I absolutely love it. I get up. I give it a ten out of ten stars. Uh, this foundation comes in, uh, I think, a color range between, I think, 30 and 33. The, the color selection is pretty good. I, I can't say that the color selection is pretty good. Um, I don't know how this foundation will, uh, like, last. It claims to last up to 16 hours, but because I have to go to work and I don't wear makeup to work, I will be taking this foundation off. But as for now, I'm loving this foundation, y'all. I highly, highly recommend this foundation. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Peace.